Hi, in this example, we're going to apply the difference quotient to a function that is linear. And so what's nice about this problem is they break it into three pieces. So first they want us to go ahead and find f of a. And so if we just write out f of x equal to 3x minus 1, we can easily just replace this x wherever we see um, within a. So if f of a, we can put 3a minus 1. So therefore, f of a is equal to 3a minus 1. Next um, part is doing the f of a plus h. So f of a plus h means that we just replace every x with a plus h. So if f of x is equal to 3x minus 1, this means that we have f of a plus h equal to 3 times a plus h minus 1. So you can see like it's just direct substitution. So if we want to go ahead and simplify, we can go ahead and distribute this 3 to each inside the parentheses. We have 3a plus 3h minus 1. So therefore, f of a plus h is 3a plus 3h minus 1. All right. So the last part is to now apply the difference quotient. So now what we want to do is have f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. And so we have all these pieces, right? So we have f of a is here and f of a plus h is there. So let's go ahead and write this out. So we have 3a plus 3h minus 1 minus f of a, which is 3a minus 1, all over h. And so we just need to be careful here when simplifying, because don't forget that this subtraction means we have to distribute to each inside the parentheses after the subtraction sign. So the first parentheses we can just take out. And the next parentheses, we have minus 3a plus 1. And so when we go ahead and reduce um, the numerator, we can see some things cancel out, like the 3a's, the 1's, and now we're left with only 3h divided by h. And those reduce out. And notice all we're left with is 3. So f of a plus h minus f of a over h is just 3. And so this is a very important quotient. It's its own special name. It's called the difference quotient. You'll see it more in your future math classes. And it, the reason why it's so special is for this reason specifically, where if you took um, f of a, right, some x value, and added some other value to it, and subtracted them and divided by h, notice all the terms reduce except the terms with h in it. And then it reduces totally to one term. And so something that looked initially kind of complicated would end up having this big answer, ends up having a simple answer like 3. All right, I hope this helps.